Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I originally was not even planning on doing a video this week. However, after the experience that I had a couple of days ago, I decided to get on here and just share with you guys what happened. So this Tuesday, um, I was out running errands and I decided while I was out to go ahead and get my eyebrows waxed. Um, so I walk into my salon and the lady that I normally use wasn't there. So another lady walks up to me and um, after I told her what I needed done and she's walking me back to the chair, she's like, oh, you are, um, I love your hair. And I said, well, thank you. She said, is it natural? And I told her, I was like, yeah, um, the platinum blonde at the top is natural, but you know, I just got some low lights put in for the fall. And she said, oh, well, it's beautiful. And so, you know, we're walking and talking and I sit down and she looks at my brows and she's like, wow, they're really light. So I said, yeah, they're pretty light. And she said, oh, are you albino? And I was like, yes, ma'am, I am albino. And she says to me, here's the kicker. She says, oh, well, you're beautiful anyway. I'm like, I'm beautiful anyway? You mean despite the way that I was created, I'm still beautiful? And at this point, the lady has hot wax mere inches from my eyeballs, so I'm obviously not going to make a big deal about it. But, you know, that got me thinking, and I was like, wow. You know, I'm sure that she meant nothing mean-spirited or cruel with the words that she chose to use. But it just really got me thinking, like, some of the things that we say to people are truly, they can come across as so hurtful. And this, you know, I've, I've really built up a, um, I don't want to say a layer, but I've built up kind of just a, a tolerance for people saying ignorant things to me. Because um, if you guys only knew half of the things that I heard, um, while people are just making natural comments that come to their minds. So I have kind of built up this resilience to um, hearing things said about me or to me about my appearance, um, about my skin color or my hair color, my eyes, whatever. But this just really struck me for some reason. Um, and you know what? It was actually on Wednesday. I don't know why I said Tuesday, but it was on Wednesday. And what's interesting was that night at church, our pastor actually preached about um, how we use our words and how words can be used for good, words can be used to heal, or words can be like a sword. And that really just, it stuck in my mind, those two experiences, or that experience going with what our pastor spoke on that night. And I thought, you know, we really need to be a little more careful with what we say to people. Um, like I said, I know that this lady was, I could tell, it was nothing mean-spirited about her. She didn't mean it cruelly. In fact, she probably sincerely meant it as a compliment. Um, but just the way she said it was kind of, shocking. It was kind of one of those wow moments. Oh, there is my phone. It was kind of just one of those wow moments. And I was like, you know, that's really not something that someone wants to hear, that they're beautiful despite of something. You know, to me, that would be the same thing as saying, oh, you're really overweight, but you're beautiful anyway. That's just not a compliment. Um, I feel comfortable in my skin. I feel comfortable with my light blonde platinum hair. I feel comfortable with my pale skin that burns at the mere mention of sunlight. I feel comfortable with the fact that my eyebrows practically blend in with my face. I am okay with how I am. Now, I still struggle sometimes. Like, things will get me down. That The fact that I can't drive, that really gets me down sometimes. Um, the fact that, you know, whenever I go to school play, if I don't get there early enough to sit close to the front, um, and I can't exactly see the children. I have to use my phone to zoom in on their little faces. You know, some of those those times, you know, it will get me down, and I'll kind of feel, I don't know, just a little upset about the condition um, of albinism and my visual impairment. But 
my point of this video, I guess, to keep it short and sweet, is just when you compliment someone, don't compliment them despite something. Compliment them because of something. You know, we hear this constant message of acceptance preached, and I'm certainly not here to preach acceptance of just anything that anyone wants to do. But when it comes to someone's physical appearance, or whenever it comes to something that they honestly and truly have no control over and you decide to give them a compliment, just compliment them. Be careful with your words. Think about how you would feel if someone said that exact same thing to you. Um, I know I'm not the best with this. I really, really need work in this department because I tend to just speak right out of my mind. I don't, there's, I don't do, I don't have a filter, I guess is what some people would say. But that experience, um, Wednesday really made me think about the things that I say and how simple little things that I say may affect someone. And like I said, this didn't, this lady's innocent, ignorant comment, it didn't affect my mood that day. It did not change the way I feel about myself. I didn't go home and cry. It just made me really think about how I treat people and what I say to people. So I guess the message in this short video is just to be careful with your words because they can help and they can heal and they can build someone up or they can really they can really hurt someone. They can really tear someone down. They can make someone question themselves. And so let's just be careful and use our words wisely. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, and the, another thing that got me thinking and the reason I wanted to make this video was because what if someone had said that, what if that lady had said that innocent, ignorant comment to a child or to the mother of a child with albinism. You know, that's what really sparked something within me that said, you know, I've got to make a video and just make people more aware because the comment didn't hurt me because I, look, I'm 29 years old. I've been dealing with this all my life. I've heard everything from, you know, wow, you look like an angel to wow, you are a freak. Like I've heard everything from one extreme to the other. And so it really doesn't bother me anymore. But my hesitation and what sparked in me was just the fact that 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 someone who doesn't have my confidence and my resilience could honestly be hurt by this. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. My phone is like going off like crazy. But I just wanted to put that out there that to choose your words wisely when you're going to compliment someone, do it with the best intentions and just let's treat each other with kindness and with dignity and just use our words carefully. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.